What's going on YouTube? It's Particle Games, and I finally finished my map editor. I don't know if you watched my last video or not, or not. it doesn't really matter, but it's finally done, and that's all that matters. Um, it's not very great. I started this a few months ago. Uh, no, maybe a little longer than that. Maybe like five months ago. I'm the, ty I'm the type of person who kind of likes to go in of stuff, go out of stuff, try new things, kinda. So I took a lot of breaks and stuff, but it's done <laughs> finally and since I started a long time ago uh, I wasn't I don't want to say bad at programming because I mean I got I did some smaller scale projects this is obviously my biggest project yet but I did some smaller ones that didn't require as much planning or good programming practices and then I started this project and I just kinda did what I did you know and it didn't turn out very well because Obviously, I didn't have the experience, but I learned a lot from this project, and I'm glad I did it, even though it's not that great. Some of the features are kind of awkward to use, but all in all, it's done, and I'm going to show it to you. So, I'm going to make a new map. Uh, Mario-style map. Add some dirt, some grass. Oh, prong tile. There we go. So that's just a little map, but you know, I you knew that that was already there. So here's one of the new features, and that's the warp tool. So what you do is, well, hang on. First, let me explain this. This ah, uh, this was in my last video. If you watched that, but it wasn't working. But I finally got it working. Uh, it was just actually a little uh, bug. It, mu it was the reason it wasn't working before. But anyways, it doesn't matter. So you, what you do is you just click on a spot and then it says select another warp location and then you just click there and those are the warp locations, the pl two spots you clicked on. And uh, if you guys can learn from me with all my mistakes, I'd just like to tell you that you need to plan everything out. Once you think you've planned it out, look it over and <laughs> plan it out again because I, I don't know how to say this, but I planned this out and then all of a sudden I realize that I can't even delete them. See, that's just another example of why I wasn't smart about this project, I guess you could say. But it still works, and I don't think I'm ever going to mess up placing a warp, because you're usually pretty careful about that. It's not like a tile placement. So, yeah, that's that story. But now there's the, uh, this feature is new, and it's new, and it's the, uh, the add enemy tool. And so what it does is it pops up a new window and the window is called choose the enemy and then it says choose an enemy then click on tile on the map. That, that's a typo, that's embarrassing. But anyways, I'll just click on this guy, place him here, click on this flying glob, place him here, and then place him maybe just place this glob right there. So also it's, uh, this is pretty much the same thing as the warp tool, just obviously adding enemies. It's pretty similar in code, but um, you also can't delete that. It's pretty too similar, but that's okay. So that's uh, these two new features, and then there's the saving feature and the loading feature. So um, I'm going to save this map as uh, maybe just map.txt. Okay. Uh, let me open this up again close this Kaspersky my computer thinks this program is a keylogger or <laughs> some other sort of vicious program but I guarantee you guys this is a legit map editor it is not a keylogger or any other sort of virus so let me open map.txt and here it is it just how I left it, just how I made it, it's perfect. Uh, let me show you guys uh, this other map I made real quick. How I'm going to show you how it can uh, handle larger scale maps also. I obviously named it big.txt because you know, <laughs> what else would I name it? And see, it's like a large platformer and then you get all the way down to the end and 
here it is. The little flag, like in Super Mario Bros. I'm a huge fan of Super Mario Bros. Just letting you guys know. But, uh, yeah, this this is my program, guys. It's think that's everything. Oh, no, there's one more thing. Uh, someone exhale me. Uh, thanks to exhale me, he, rem he reminded me to a implement this one feature. I'm, I'm going to put in, uh, his link in the description. I, I'm really thankful he reminded me. I was going to implement a right-click erase tool in case you uh, just want to do some small-scale deleting, which is actually why I put these in. See, just right-click, and they go away. I don't have to click on this tool or anything. Uh, it's just in simple way in case you make a mistake, so it works well. So uh, thank you, Exhale Me. I'm going to put your link in the, the description because I would have completely forgot if you didn't remind me. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later.